That's right. Both sides took just a little more than an hour to make their closing statements. Prosecutors are relying heavily on cell phone records and where they placed John Clark when Kier Bergman went missing. The defense, meantime, says those records are not reliable and investigators were not thorough. Now, John made several statements to the police. After four years and six weeks of testimony, a jury finally will begin deliberating the Kiara Bergman murder case. If you believe that the evidence shows that he either intentionally caused Kiara's death or he did so knowingly that he would cause death or serious physical injury. That's enough for second degree murder. Prosecutors maintain Bergman had a rocky relationship with her boyfriend and he killed her, then sent text messages from Bergman's phone pretending to be her. John Christopher is innocent. The state is trying to tell the same old story the boyfriend did it. During closing arguments, defense attorney Keith Terry showed pictures of the two looking happy. He said police didn't pursue other potential suspects that surfaced during the investigation. If somebody else may have, may have committed this crime, you must find John Christopher not guilty. Is Kiera really this reckless girl going out there sleeping with everyone? The slut shaming campaign that's been going on? Is that consistent with the evidence? Or is she just a young woman trying to make her way, trying to figure things out with her and Destiny? Is that who she was? Kiera's only mistake, and her fatal mistake, was putting her trust and her love in the wrong person. Now the jury will be back tomorrow morning to begin deliberating. Clark is charged with second degree murder and tampering with evidence. That second degree murder charge alone carries a sentence of up to 25 years. Live in the newsroom, Angie Cayley for Arizona's family. Angie, thank you. This is a